Hi viewers, in this video we will discuss how to print an increasing triangle pattern using Python coding. Let us consider an increasing triangle pattern that consists only stars. Count the number of rows and the number of columns. The given pattern is 5 cross 5. Observe clearly. In first line, we have only one star. Hence, inner loop should be iterated only one time. In the second line, during the second iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated two times. Hence, two stars will be printed. Similarly, during third iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated three times. Hence, there will be three stars in the output and so on. If you look at the last line, during fifth iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated five times. Hence, there will be five stars in the output. We have counted the number of rows and the number of columns. It is a five cross five pattern. Outer for loop with the range one to six, it will iterate five times. Outer for loop will decide number of rows to be Printed. Inner for loop is having a range 1 to a plus 1. The inner for loop is made a function of outer for loop. Based upon the values of outer for loop, the inner for loop will be iterated. And next, the print function with end attribute is used as an argument and one empty print function so as to start printing the stars or character in a new line after completing the inner for loop every time. Step by step, we will look how the execution will proceed. During first iteration of outer for loop, the value of a will be 1. Then inner for loop will be executed and it will have the range of 1 to 2. And inner for loop will iterate only one time. Next, the print function will be executed and one star will be printed in the output. After that, an empty print function is executed. The cursor will enter into the new line. Now, the execution will go to outer for loop. The value of a will be incremented by 1. Now, the value of a will be 2. During the second iteration of inner for loop, the range of b will be 1 to 3. Now, it will print two stars in the output one star during each iteration hence in the second line you have two stars and next empty print function is executed then the cursor will enters into the fresh line now the execution will again goes to the first line again the value of a will be incremented by one now the value of a will be three and the range of b will be one to four this inner for loop now it will iterate for three times. During each iteration, one star will be printed. At the end of the inner for loop iteration, three stars will be printed in the third line. Next, an empty print function will be executed. Then the cursor will enter into the new line. Again, the execution will go to the first line, that is outer for loop will be executed. Now the value of A will be 4. Now the range of B will be 1 to 5. During each iteration of inner for loop, one star will be printed. Hence, there will be four iterations. Hence, four stars will be printed in the output. Next, the empty print function is executed and the cursor will take the new line. Again, the execution will go to first line. Now, the value of A will be 5. The range of B will be 1 to 6. Now, the inner for loop will iterate for 5 times. During each iteration, one star will be printed. At the end of the inner for loop, 5 stars will be printed in the fifth line. Next, an empty print function will be executed and the execution will come out of outer for loop and the inner for loop. Let us consider an increasing triangle that contains the numbers in each line. Count the number of rows and the number of columns. The given pattern is 5 cross 5. Observe clearly in the first line we have only one number and in the second line there are two numbers. In the third line there are three numbers. In fourth line four numbers. In a fifth line 
फाइव नंबर्स टू फर लूप्स आर यूज्ड आउटर फर लूप विद द रेंज वन टू सिक्स इट रेट्स फाइव टाइम्स आउटर फर लूप डिसाइड्स द नंबर ऑफ रोज टू बी प्रिंटेड एंड इनर फर लूप इज हैविंग ए रेंज वन टू ए प्लस वन द इनर फर लूप इज मेड एज ए फंक्शन ऑफ आउटर फर लूप बेस्ड अपॉन द वैल्यू ऑफ आउटर फर लूप द इनर फर लूप विल इट रेट्स एंड नेक्स्ट वन print function with a variable b and end attribute is used as a arguments and empty print function so as to start printing the characters in the new line after completing the inner for loop step by step we'll see what the values of a and b will holds during each iteration and what's the output during first iteration the value of a will be 1 and next the range of b will be 1 to 2 the inner for loop will iterate only for one times in print function we used a variable b hence now the value of b is 1 in the output number 1 will be printed next the empty print function is executed the cursor will moves to new line again the execution will goes to first line again the value of a will be 2 now the range of b will be 1 to 3 now the inner for loop will iterates two times during first iteration the value of b will be 1 hence in the output you are going to observe 1 in the second line during second iteration of inner for loop the value of b will be 2 hence in the output you can see 2 in the second line next the empty print function is executed the cursor will takes a new line again the execution will goes to the first line now the value of a will be incremented by 1 the value of a will be 3 the range of b will be 1 to 4 hence the inner for loop will iterates for three times during first iteration in the output you can see the number 1 in the third line in the second iteration the value of b will be 2 you can see after 1 to the number 2 is printed next the inner for loop the value of b will be 3 hence in the output you can see the number 3 in the third line the number 1 2 3 3 are printed next the empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line next the execution will goes to first line again the value of a will be 4 now the range of b will be 1 to 5 the inner for loop will iterates for 5 times the inner for loop will iterates for 4 times during first iteration in the output b is printed during the second iteration the value of b will be 2 in the output you can see 2 during next iteration the value of b will be 3 in the output you can see 3 in the next iteration the value of b will be 4 in the output you are going to print the 4 in the fourth line you can observe the numbers 1 2 3 4 are printed next empty print function is executed now the cursor will takes the new line again the execution will goes to outer for loop a the value of a will be 5 now the range of b will be 1 to 6 inner for loop will iterates for 5 times during first iteration in the output you can see the number 1 during second iteration the value of b will be 2 hence in the output you can see a number 2 is printed in the third iteration the value of b will be 3 in the output you can see 3 in the fourth iteration the value of b will be 4 in the output you can see the number 4 in the fifth iteration of inner for loop the value of b will be 5 hence in the fifth line you can see the numbers printing 1 2 3 4 and 5 next the empty print function is executed and the cursor will takes the new line the execution will comes out of outer for loop one more type of increasing triangle pattern there are five rows with five columns in first line only one is printed second line all twos are printed similarly in the fifth line all fives are printed based on that you need to write the coding take two for loops outer for loop with the range 1 to 6 it rates for 5 times outer for loop will decides the number of rows and the inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop 
based upon the value of a the inner for loop will be iterated next a print function with an argument a and end attribute is used next one empty print function now let us see one by one what's the value of a and b will be holding during each iteration and what is going to print in the output during first iteration the value of a will be 1 the range of b is 1 to 2 hence the inner for loop will iterates only one time in the output we used a variable as a the value of a is 1 in the output you can see 1 next an empty print function is executed the cursor will take the new line again the execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a will be 2 inner inner loop will iterates for two times during each iteration in the output the number 2 will be printed next the empty print function is executed cursor will takes a new line again the execution will starts from the first line the value of a will be 3 the range of b will be 1 to 4 hence the inner for loop will iterates for three times during each iteration it is going to print number 3 in the output during first iteration, 1, 3. During second iteration, 1 more 3. During third iteration, 1 more 3 is printed. Next, an empty print function is executed. The cursor will take the fresh line. The execution will go to outer for loop. Again, the value of A will be incremented by 1. The value of A will be 4. The range of B will be 1 to 5. Inner for loop will iterate for 4 times. During each iteration, one number that is 4 will be printed. 4 times the number 4 will be printed. Next empty print function is executed. The cursor will take a new line and the execution will goes to the outer for loop. The value of A will be 5 now. The range of B is 1 to 6. Inner for loop will iterate for 5 times. During each iteration the number 5 will be printed in the output. Hence Finally, you can see the five fives in the fifth line. This is how we are going to print the increasing triangle patterns.